everybody, welcome to another edition of the Reality Wrestling. My name is DeVoe Brett Gilmore, joined as always by Brittany Houtland and of course the historian Kirby Carry On. We have an incredible main event this week. J.P. Harlow versus Izzy James, number one contender for the Reality Wrestling Texas Championship. But really, Kirby, this is a grudge match. Both men are one and one. In the opening contest, a few weeks back, we saw J.P. Harlow win a singles contest. And then at the Summer Champions, we saw no disqualifications go the way of Izzy James. But tonight, it's for a number one contendership for the Texas Championship. So all bets are off. One man is going to be walking away number one contender. And you want to talk about big Big matches happening. Diamonds action. GG Ray, the money from Bill Woods, taking on the chosen one, Promise Braxton. So exciting. The chosen one with the money, GG Ray. I mean, this is just a battle of wits here and seeing who's going to rise to the top to potentially be a contender for the Diamonds Championship. Speaking of championships, the Reality Wrestling Texas Championship up for grabs in our opening contest. Cam Cole tries to regain the title now that he is fully cleared against Terrell Tempo. Now, I've heard Cameron Cole say it all over social media that Terrell Tempo is a paper champion. Cameron Cole was never defeated to lose that championship, even though he did put it up on the line at the Summer of Champions in that matchup. But now he's going to get to put up or shut up as he faces Terrell Tempo, a champion who we haven't seen walk through that curtain with a championship around his waist in over five years. Incredible, incredible. So we're going to see what happens this week on the reality of wrestling. Don't go anywhere because the row starts right now. We are being joined now by Les. We saw him get a victory at the Summer of Champions. But now he is joining us here for our opening contest on the reality of wrestling here tonight, the Texas Championship match between Cameron Cole and Terrell Tempo. Yes, Tempo, welcome. Welcome to the commentary team tonight, Les. Yo, what's going on? Cameron Cole, the now former Texas champion. We saw him lose that championship at the Summer of Champions because he couldn't defend it, so he had somebody defend it for him, and that's how Terrell Temple won the championship. Now he gets a chance to regain it back here, and what do you think is going to be his game plan here tonight, Brittany? Well, it's one of those things, if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. So Cam is back here to be the baddest in the game and reclaim that title. But I do have to ask, Les, to what do we owe the pleasure here tonight? Oh, man, you know, I'm just coming through, man. You know, I always like to come check it out, come support, you know what I mean? Make sure that my presence is always felt. Definitely, your presence is always felt here in the reality of wrestling. You always make a splash whenever you make your way down here to Texas City. Yeah. So, right now, we're going to be seeing the Texas Championship defended by the new champion, Terrell Tempo. This is for the Texas Championship, one of the most prestigious prizes in all of reality of wrestling. This championship is defended all over Texas. And when you are the champion, you not only defend it here in the reality of wrestling, but in all the federations around Texas as well, bringing 
uh, the name Reality of Wrestling around with you. And right now, Cameron Cole is going to be a tough test for Tempo. Again, he's got to feel like he got cheated out at the Summer of Champions. He really did, but like you said, you defend it and get Reality of Wrestling's name out all over Texas. But right now, all we hear is Tempo. Man, they are yelling his name. Let's go, Tempo. And already, look at this. I think Temple's trying to go for a tie-up or a lock-up here in the center of the ring. But Cameron Cole keeping his distance, making sure to use his ring to his advantage. And that is the thing is Cameron Cole is very elusive. He's very evasive. He's able to duck and dodge and move. So it's going to be tricky for Terrell to keep him. Oh, big roll-up right point. there. A Bay Headlock Takeover. Now, Les, you have already had a matchup here. What is it like to be in the opening contest, you know, in the opening moments of this matchup? Are you trying to measure your opponent? Are you trying to, you know, maybe see what they do wrong? Man, it's like you just never know. You never know if they show up in their A game, if they, you know, if they're stronger than you to that at that moment. You know what I mean? It's just it's so different. I, I had so much more respect after having a match. I mean, I always respect what the guys do, but man, it's just going in there and really, you know, feeling it. It's different. It's different. Absolutely. You felt those shoulder tackles yourself, maybe from somebody like Aiden Cristiano. Right. Big scoop slam right there from Terrell Tempo. And look at this. Big elbow drop there from the champion. Into the cover here. Shoulders are down. One, two, but no. The championship's still on the line here. And already, Tempo calling for the paying dividends. Oh. Trying to make quick work of him. It really is smart of Tempo to end this early. Oh! oh, grabbing the beard here is Cameron Cole. And now that cross chop there to the throat. And this is just classic Cameron Cole. Trying to go for that fisherman suplex, but now. Just like you said, he's a slippery guy, man. He really is, and oh! And trying to take Tempo's Slimy arm. Slimy guy. Interesting hair. Oh! Not going after the arm there into the cover. Once again, shoulders down, but Tempo able to get out immediately. Can't lose the Texas Titans to the California boy, man. Now this, you actually bring up a great point there, Les, for sure. We got to represent, man. We can't, we can't have that happen, man. Oh. That big splash there. To the, to the arm. Now this is our opening contest here, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of action ready for you tonight. We are going to be hearing from Edge Stone later on tonight. We're going to see what he wants his uh, wish to be from Queen Charmel. As we know that the entire team is getting the stuff right here. And now we're into the cover. But another quick kick out here from Terrell Tempo. I was talking to Edge Stone in the back. He, he was telling me what he was thinking. Les, if, if you were to get a wish from, from Queen Charmel, what, what would your wish be? Well, we're not oh, wait, hold on. Shoulders down here. One, two. Sorry, go ahead, Les. I don't know, man. I'm not sure yet. Still trying to figure it out. I might need the Texas title, you know? Oh. I was going to say, you could challenge either of these men here for that Texas championship uh, if Queen Charmel were to give you some kind of opportunity like that. But if, if, if a California boy gets the Texas title, I'm Oh, it's sure. the cover here. Look at this shoulder roll, but no. Oh, what a uppercut. You felt a shot like that before, Les. What's that like? It's not fun, man. It is not One, fun. One, two. I'm, 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 still, I'm still feeling some of the things La Familia did to me. <laughs> I can imagine, especially after those belt shots, we heard how they reverberated yeah, around yeah. the arena. I was actually a little nervous to do commentary because last time I did commentary, I ended up getting spanked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was part of, part of commentary oh, yeah, here, reality know. of wrestling. <laughs> it's more like when La Familia's around and they just feel like they've been slighted. <laughs> right. But that's, that's behind us in the rearview mirrors right now. Cameron Cole into the cover here to become the Texas champion, but no. And you can see the frustration already starting to build here for Cameron Cole. He's ready for this, man. Terrell Temple as a champion is one of the toughest challenges here in the reality of wrestling. Uh, something that we haven't seen in a little bit over five years. And right now, Cameron Cole is definitely living up to the name of Texas champion. He's wanting to capture that championship for the second time in his career. Look at this here, Cameron Cole going already up top. Gonna be thinking a big splash here, perhaps, or maybe a double axe. Oh, but he got caught. Tempo now looking like James Harden. Tempo now keeping it up tempo here. 
And a big back elbow into the tip up here. Okay, energy. The Texas champion is feeling it. The World Gym Arena is feeling it. And we could just be moments away from Tempo. Oh, I was going to say retaining that championship, but that arm damage is starting to add up as he lifts it up. Oh, big back body drop into the cover too, but no. Beautiful holding on there. Now, Les, you have experience being on the charts here as an artist yourself. You've accomplished that feat several times. Is it different the second time than the first time? Man, it's just a good feeling to always do it. To be honest with you, bro, to consistently to always be there, just it shows the love isn't fading and that you're still, you know, doing your thing, you know, having fallen off pretty much. Now, do you think that Cameron Cole is feeling that way, possibly winning the Texas Championship here for the second time? I mean, you know, you, when you do it once and then you do it again, bro, it just feels like, you know, it's right. It's yours. Oh! We saw, we, he has to make it happen, though. Oh! Oh! oh. And he just maybe made it happen right now. Into the cover. The shoulders are down for the Texas Championship, but no. Man. Tempo is a tough guy, bro. Came back here after five years like he never lost a step. But he may lose an arm if Cam Cole has anything to say about it. Cameron Colden has, has done an amazing job here thus far in our opening contest going after that arm. But Terrell Temple saw it coming that time. And look at this. He's got the leg hooked. Let's go. And now, oh, oh, oh. into the ankle lock. Oh, and right in the middle in of the, the ring. In the middle of the ring. Yeah, he, yeah, there's no way he's going with that one. But Cameron Cole, look at this. He's got him tied up. What is Come he, on, Tempo. What is he doing? He's trying to he break free. Texas. Cam, Cam is... Cam Cam, is... He just... He loosened the boot. He's... <laughs> Hey, you called it. You said he was a slippery guy. Oh, <laughs> a shot there to the throat. I wasn't lying. I've seen Cam Cole work a lot of places. Oh, he caught him. <laughs> Here we time. go. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Well, now with no boots. He the lock immediately taps out. And Tempo retains the Texas championship. Hey, man. <laughs> Tempo represented, man. Bro, you got your wish there, Yeah, man, he had to represent. I was going to stun him again if he, uh, if he lost it to a California boy. <laughs> Terrell Tempo walks away victorious here. Still your Texas championship. And what a contest that is. Even if Cameron Cole calls him a paper champion, that's no longer the case, Brittany. He straight up beat the man that was the champion. He did indeed. And Terrell Tempo, Texas strong. Here at Reality of Red And here we see Tempo taking a look here at Les on the broadcast booth. Oh. Oh. As he said, they have history here, Brittany. Yeah, but it, I don't, it, it looks like it's buried. Oh, the, the, the hatchet is buried. We were asking Les, and he said that he would, but we didn't know that Tempo would, and it seems that the past is in the past. I love happy endings. Same. Well, as I was just saying, it looks like he buried the hatchet with you. Yes, everything's all good, man. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. than you. Well, guess what? I want to step into your world. Because I know I'm also a better rapper than you. So next month, I challenge you one-on-one -on -one to rap back. And like these stupid kids say, if you show up next month, it's on site. <laughs> As the kids say, on site, and that is no cap here. No camera call. Every time I come here, I just like have so much fun. I
go home and we just can't stop talking about it till we come back. The whole roster, top to bottom, star studded guys. We drove 12 hours from Atlanta. Just come see it. One missile for the world. It's one of the premier independent wrestling promotions across America. It's a world old machine and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good talent, which is very rare on you know in these shows to see so much talent about one show. The organization that he has right now. I think and truly believe that it's one of the best organizations out there. Brian Keith is 15 feet in the air! Brian Keith is up top! A lot of fun, a lot of good athletes, good wrestlers, uh, good family fun. I've been around with a lot of the other independent groups, but this to me is a very, very top and first class operation. Reality of wrestling, one word, heart. And that's what Booker T is bringing to uh, Houston, it's already special. He's created opportunity, and he's creating great talent, as you guys well know. You can't make it happen without these young people, without the fans coming out and supporting this thing. This is the flagship of Texas wrestling. This is the beginning of something big. It ain't gonna this stop. This is the best damn promotion in the country right now. The best independent promotion in the country. The best talent, the best coach and teacher that there ever was. And this is where it's at right here in the reality of wrestling. Believe that. Very professional. It's a very good production. Booker's doing it right. I really enjoy being a part of it. Oh, what a rush! The future of wrestling is reality of wrestling. That's the reality of the situation. I'm Robbie Roddy Piper, and you're watching Reality of Wrestling. Be there, be square, babe. <laughs> Leading up to the Sherry Martell Classic, and now Booker T is officially in the corner. 
a bomb threat. Well, of course he is. I mean, he's the one who deemed her the chosen one. Of course he's gonna stick to Thomas Brown here in this race and but this is worrisome for Gigi Ray. And she doesn't stand a chance now. Booker T is in Thomas's corner. I mean, Rachel, are, are you a little are you a little hurt that Booker's in her corner and, and wasn't in yours? No. No, Brittany, I'm not hurt, okay? My feelings are not that fragile. The Queen of House Rose doesn't need Booker to be her little backpack and tell her what to do every second of the day. He just knows I know what to do and what's expected of me. All right, Booker T dabbing up Promise Braxton. That's got to give you another level of energy. I mean, that's, I mean, got to give you another level of confidence to have somebody like Booker in your corner. I mean... What do you think, Brittany? Well, as you said, another level of confidence, but also another level of pressure. You now have to perform at the level of a two-time Hall of Famer. Pressure makes diamonds, of course. This is the Diamonds Division. Rachel Rose joining us, former champion. And I know you're angling to have that rematch that you want yeah, and, sure. and deserve. Deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Charmelle's been dodging my calls, actually. Booker would never do that to me. I would have a match tonight if Booker was still running things. Well, you know, Charmelle's busy trying to get everything back in order and, and, and figure out all of the new lay of the land. So I'm sure she'll she'll return your, your voicemails. Why don't you think Booker T decided to uh, choose you as, as his pupil in the Diamonds Division? Like I said, Bradley... He doesn't need to tell me what to do every second of the day. He doesn't need to be out there to tell me what to do every second of my match. He knows that I know what he expects from me. Fair enough. As promised, Braxton taking it to Gigi Ray. Headlock take over there. Gigi struggling to find a way out of it, but almost getting a pin there. Little forearm shots to the rib cage. Promise Braxton. Well seasoned competitor, a big shoulder block there. Seem to be nodding your head there, Rachel Rose. You've you've been in there with both these women. I have, I have, and neither one of them are anyone to take lightly. That might be the nicest thing I've ever heard you say. Yeah, don't get used to it. Irish whip there from Gigi Ray. Promise Braxton had it scouted, reversal. Shoots her right into the corner. Oh! Ooh. And met with a back elbow there, Brittany. The momentum that Promise ran into that. However, and a oh. cover here, one, two. Booker T looked worried there for a moment. I mean, I would have been too. Oh! The momentum that Gigi has right now. Firing off like a cannon, and there goes the money. We know that Gigi, uh, that Promise Braxton has been a Reality Wrestling Diamonds champion, much as yourself, Rachel Rose. Do you see those same qualities in Gigi Ray? Hold on here, cover one, two. Do you see those qualities in Gigi Ray? Could she be a potential threat to the title? I think she needs to tap into her darker side. I think she needs to get more vicious. I think she plays by the rules, and I think she lets other people dictate what she does in her matches. Absolutely. We'll see if we can see a darker side of her. Right now, Promise Braxton. I don't know if she had a little rake to the eyes there, perhaps. Didn't you didn't see it? Well, okay. I'm going to go with what you say. Send her into the second turnbuckle. You, you're going to go with what she She clearly raked her eyes. Cover here. One, two. Booker T there shouting. Me and Benjamin didn't see it. Okay, Brittany. Not sure, but Promise Braxton looking for a big suplex. There's that oh. suplex. From the Rebel Boot is cover one, two, and a kick out. She has learned a lot here at Reality of Wrestling. Staying on top of Gigi. And there's Booker on the sidelines as a cheerleader, just hyping Promise up. And I'm assuming Rachel Rosen, although Charmel hasn't answered your phone calls, you, you feel like you're the clear next in line for a shot at the Diamonds Championship. Absolutely, I'm the clear next in line. I mean, what has what has Vert done? It, it's a fair point. It's a fair point. Oh. Vixen, number one contender. Cover here. One, two, a kick out. 
But again, I think Charmel's trying to do right by by the division, trying to give more opportunities, more chances. Please don't. I, I can just feel the, her the, hatred the, for it's me. It's coming towards me now. Can you can you can you block her a little Flames. more? Flames. Flames are on the side of her face. If Charmel knows what's good for her, she'll do right by me and give me my rematch. Irish whip here from Promise Braxton into the corner. A head full of steam. Oh. Gigi Ray had it well scouted. Promise had that one scouted. Reversal here. Oh, wait a minute. Looking for a broken promise. One, two. Oh, my Lord. Too close for comfort for the five-time champ, Booker T. Oh. Beautiful knee sends Gigi to the mat. Expertly placed. Booker T shouting instructions has now become a manager as signed into law this by the governor of our fair state. <laughs> into law? <Yeah. laughs> I, I'm just saying what he said. Just saying uh, what, what, what Chris read to all of us, signed by, by the governor. Far be it for me to doubt Booker, okay? Probably a smart call there on more days than not. Thomas Braxton. Knee in the back. Listen to the row nation. Booker is not happy. They're behind Gigi Ray. Backslide. One, two. Oh. Oh, man. Some stiff shots there from Gigi Ray, the Millwoods representative. Reversal there from oh. Promise. Oh. Just not promised inside out. Beautiful step up in Zagiri there. She needs to capitalize. She needs to jump on her and pin her if she wants to win this. It looks like Gigi, though, is just feeling the effects of the match. Trying to fire it up here. Has promise in her sights. There again, Gigi Ray is firing up. This is what she needed to do to defeat someone like a Promise Braxton. What a judo throw there. She's still holding on to Promise. The money is showing she's worth every penny of it. Booker looks like he may have backed the wrong horse here. Booker T has a face of concern. Oh! Cover one, two. Promise Braxton taking a lot of offense just now from Gigi Ray. Slow to get up. And now what is Gigi thinking? Going to the top, maybe? Gigi going high risk. She not does something do a blockbuster off the top. Not something we normally see from her. Oh, but oh she's up at the top. Booker. Wait, wait a minute. Goodness. Booker T. Did Booker T just shot Gigi Ray? And Promise Braxton. Good rich power bomb. What? Cover. One, two, three, the chosen one.
My name is Nathan Wasser, and I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I came down here to Reality of Wrestling to improve my training and get myself more experience learning from the absolute best. It's intense, it's hard. You gotta leave your, your ego at the door and come in with an open mind. Uh, the way they do stuff here is the next level. But if you do that, you'll end up bettering yourself in the end and you'll improve and you'll be able to work anywhere. Booker's knowledge will help you get to whatever goals you want to do if you want to be uh, a big star in this industry. My end goal is to be in WWE. Coming down here to Reality of Wrestling, I feel is the best opportunity for me to get there. So I'm going to do whatever it takes. I can promise you when you come to Reality of Wrestling, it will change your life. You will not regret it. reigning tag team champions in the history of this company. Izzy James, though, has always been eluded by singles championship gold. This might be his opportunity to get the opportunity to finally scratch that off his bucket list. I just hope Izzy James can remain focused and calm because J.P. Harlow, Brittany, has really gotten under his skin as of late. And that's the thing is, focus. I mean, this is for a number one contendership. He's never had singles gold before, but this is also a grudge match. There's a lot of mechanisms working here, and Izzy has to stay focused and not go into a brutal rage when he sees J.P. Harlow. The big thing here, though, is that as much as you want to stay calm, J.P. Harlow is so good at getting you out of your element. He is so good at riling you up. You saw what he did here to the fans as he was walking, to, you know, to the ring himself. So Izzy James has to not only stay calm, but overcome all the games that Harlow plays to stay calm. Well, here we go. Main event time on the reality of wrestling. Collar and elbow tie up. You saw these men wasted no time to get to it. That was a crazy low disqualification match that we saw at the Summer of Champions, which saw Izzy James walk out victorious, but these guys are one and one That's why they, have, they are in this matchup, number one contendership for the Texas Championship. Grudge match. You see J.P. Arlo acting like a true Iowan and retreating from battle. <laughs> yes, indeed, taking his time, but that just gives Izzy time to relax and think of his next step. Izzy James definitely playing here in home court. Texas native. Finding his footing in the singles oh. capacity here. Made his big return at the last stand battle royal. Since then, has been on a streak of sorts. But he's run into J.P. Harlow. And J.P. Harlow may have all of his tricks here, but you really can't outsnake a gutter snake here. Oh, look, look at this, though. They know each other so well, they know the counters to the counters. One, two. Pretty drop kick there from J.P. Harlow. Oh! There's Prez with some fists. 
accompanying it. Kick right to the sternum, though. Slows him down. The gutter snake Whoa. avoiding all the shots Look at that. JP Harlow. It's slippery there. As you said, both these men just know each other so well. Oh! Oh, oh. man! Never seen that before. <laughs> and I don't think Izzy wants to see it again. One, two. Kick out from two there. And that right there is just the familiarity between these two. They know what each other's thinking. They know they can think one step ahead. And that's what makes this grudge match so interesting to me, is how they're going to be able to adapt and evolve past what they've already been through. Oh, no. Going to the solar plexus there. Reverse neck breaker from JP Harlow. Cover here. One, two. Another kick out. Hey, JP seems a little aggravated and frustrated. And I don't know if that's warranted. We're still in the early goings of this match. He knows the competitor that Izzy James is. I think the deeper you get into the waters here, Brad, that it's got to be more frustrating for JP Harlow because he knows what Izzy James can do in the later portions of this matchup. So he wants to put this one away as soon as possible. Oh! oh. Innovative maneuvers here. One, two. You have to be innovative, Brittany. You, that's, you have to keep evolving your game. If you keep doing the same things, eventually the other person's going to start scouting and they're going to know what you're going to do next. Oh. Put some extra torque into that short elbow drop. Dizzy, you heard the fans here at, Ro at the Row Nation, the Reality Wrestling Arena. Oh. Strongly behind the gutter snake. And it's nice to have the hot tag that is the audience, for lack of a better term, to give you some extra motivation to get through the matches. But will it be enough? We're going to have to find out, right? Because right now, J.P. Harlow is bringing it to the gutter snake. And that is also dangerous. I mean, the fans being behind Izzy may just further enrage J.P. and mm. cause him to do things like that. And look at this here. Izzy James able to escape that second chop. And now he's starting to fire at J.P. Oh. Harlow. Oh. But J.P. got the eyes there. Right to the eyes. Cheap, cheap maneuver there. J.P. Harlow finding himself back in position. That's another reverse neck breaker. Cover. One, two. You know, the one thing we have seen in wrestling is that sometimes cheap maneuvers do win you championships. So this might win him a contendership. Oh, look at that. Singeing back on the neck of Izzy James. Izzy James looking at the referee saying, I am not giving up. And this main event spotlight is something that both these men are very comfortable with. Their last match was also in the main event slot here. As right now, Izzy James trying to go for maybe a Death Valley driver, but JP Harlow had it oh. scouted. Well, lands on his feet though. Oh! Is the Gary. Now straight jacket, German suplex. I mean, Izzy James has a lot of fight in him, but right now, JP Harlow is putting on a clinic. He really is, and no, no, oh! Cover. One, wait, hold on here. Using the bottom rope, referee Isaac Bouillon caught him. JP really wasn't trying to hide it there. That's the cockiness of JP Harlow. Guiding the orchestra here is JP Harlow. You've got to imagine that maybe going back to just a number one contendership matchup under regular rules has got to favor JP Harlow. He was the one that won that first matchup when we had all the regular rules here in play. And that right now, JP Harlow, again, getting just completely countered by Izzy James. Well, right now, Izzy tried this earlier in the night. Was unsuccessful at this point. JP Harlow wasn't ready for it. That's a astute observation you make, Kirby Carrion, about the rules there. Um, Izzy James. Oh! oh! Cover. One, 
two. Thought he had it, but he doesn't. Kick out after two. Izzy James now signaling for the end. He may just have it if he's able to stay on top of JP here. Got him up on the shoulder, stinging Death Valley oh. driver perhaps. The hair pull and out of the ring. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here we go. He's gonna fly. Oh. The gutter snake taking flight. Oh. And now these two are brawling here. Oh. Right into the apron, but. to a count of five here, the referee still counting as both guys are fighting up the stage right now. Oh, no. They're right here, right next to us. What? This is not a place that I want to be. No, this is... Oh, oh, oh. no, no, no. But... Well, referee just counted a ten. A, a no contest. I mean, both are out. I don't know what the hell is happening, but I don't like how... And they're still fighting right here next to us on the stage. This, this, this is a grudge match by all meaning here. They are brawling here right in front oh. of us. Oh, my oh. gosh. Oh. 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 oh, gosh. Get out of here, guys. This is no longer safe. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try to cover this for y'all. Izzy James, JP Harlow, brawling on oh, another low blow. Another low blow from JP Harlow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What is he doing, JP Harlow bleeding from the mouth. Bleed JP, don't do this, don't do it. Don't do it, don't do it, no, no, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. J.P. Arlo, no. J.P. Arlo grabbing a piece of our stage. What is he doing? No, J.P. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. Izzy James, look at Izzy James just laying there. Izzy James fell through our tech area onto a table. And you see that piece of, of staging has just been thrown on top of him. What the hell, JP? What the hell? Well, a scene that is just chaotic and despicable. JP Harlow has thrown Izzy James off the stage through a table, trusting falling on top of him. We need paramedics out here. Izzy looks to be seriously hurt. <laughs> 